All right, in this video, we are going to be talking about dealing with some null values and ran into a little bit of a problem when I prepping for this. So if we look at the tables in our employees database, just come up here. We'll, we've been picking out employees quite a bit and click on a little information there. If I come out to the columns, most of these are set to not null values. So that is uh, not going to work out for us. And we do have titles. I, I'm not going to show you every table, but I've been through every table in our little database, and most of them are set to not null. And only our to date on our employees' titles table is nullable. The rest, everything else is not null. So there's really no null values to play with. And if I do select star from titles, where, and remember, we're talking about the to date. So this is the is null statement, I get no records back. So there's really no null data values in our employees database. So I'm going to show you a little something that we can do here is we do have these other schemas here. So we have the information schema and I can expand out the tables here in the information schema. And we are going to come down here. I actually had to search around a little bit to find a, a table that had some values in it for us. And I'm going to look at this plugins table and what we can do here. So I come up and do a select star from, and you can see that the auto complete comes up with information schema. I can say dot plugins. And I want to point out here, we've been using the employee statement here to indicate that we want to be using the employee schema. That allows us to omit the schema name. Here I'm explicitly saying the schema name and table name. So that, that's typical SQL here. So we're doing schema name table name and this allows us to access tables in other schemas without having to say use x database so now i'm going to go ahead and run the statement and you might have different values in your database they could be different depending on the operating system that you're using i'm on os x so this is going to be valid for my system things could be different depending on the release and os that you're using but the key point here is i'd have a column here for plugin library that does have a mixture of null values and actual values. You can see the little null statement there. So now what I can do is come up here and say where plugin library is null. And this is going to return back all records where that is null. Or I copy this. I can say is not null. And this would give me all records where that value of plugin library is not null. So important distinction there in larger databases, it's pretty common to have columns with null values. And this is null and not null allows you to select where the values are obviously null or not null. And again, just to recap, a null value means that that database column, that row does not have a value assigned to it. It means null means nothing. 